Today we'll be talking about Mexican prisons and how different they are compared to American prisons. Let's get into this video. I am Ron Strong. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you are part of my family, mi familia, mi raza, you already know what time it is. Super tell us about because we're about to go see Jesus. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Ron Strong. Today, we'll be talking about Mexican prisons and American prisons and the difference. But before we start, just Word that you put in my heart. I hope this video reaches whoever it needs to reach us in Jesus' name. Amen. First off, let's get one thing straight. Mexican prisons are known for being dangerous and deadly. I know. Why? Because the gangs and the cartels run everything in there from drugs, gangs, murders, lynchings, I mean, you name it. The Mexican prison system is overcrowded, underfunded, and corrupt. If you want it to live by yourself or with just someone else, you had to pay for that privilege. If not, you had to live with maybe even 20 to 30 people in one cell. A lot of the poor people couldn't afford to buy cells. Dirty, just very poor. They don't even have basic stuff like good food, medicine, diseases like HIV, AIDS, TB, they, they spread really easy in there. You know, when I was there, there was, I wanna say about 40 to 50 inmates that had completed their time, they were done. They had got sentenced to 10 years and some of them were even there for 14 after being sentenced for almost 10. So what they did is they did a hunger strike. They did not eat nothing. They only drank water for 40 days. These guys were dying, you know. Every morning when I would walk past them, I, <laughs> I just couldn't believe how, how bad they were deteriorating so fast. They never were released and they had to stop their hunger. They started eating. But that's just to show you how, you know, the government is just not involved with the prison system in Mexico how they are here in the United States. You're blessed. The conditions over there were really bad. I would daydream about having a bologna sandwich while I was over there. And that's something that is very basic in a US prison here. And I started with overnight. So they arrest you for mob action. Uh, you know gang activity and they throw you in the prison and you stay there overnight if it's a Friday Then you get there stuck till Monday, but that's how I started, but They gave you the basics. They gave you water. They gave you food while you were in there And when you went to the county jail, I mean you got everything you got a pillow You got a mattress you got your uniform you got a cell you got three meals a day I mean you got pretty much taken care of and if you were sick in the door, they start testing you. Guess what? When I got to the Mexican prison, there was no test. There was no no penis doctor. There was no no TB shot. There was nothing. You went straight into the prison. So if you're carrying a disease or something, guess what? You just gave it to the whole prison. Same thing here in America. When you have pink eye, they lock you in segregation because they don't want you to spread it to the rest of the population. That doesn't happen over there. They're very overcrowded. There is no money for medicine. It is, it is bad. So when I say, you know, United States is a five-star hotel, I don't mean it in a bad way. I just mean that you're getting a lot of the basic stuff that a lot of people don't get in other places. So we should be grateful if we're doing time in the United States. You shouldn't be doing time, but if you did, you make the mistake, so be it. 
you are in a better place than being in Mexico. My name is JC, I am Ron Strong. Hey, stay in your lane, live savage, and remember, live for him. He's the one that changes you from here. It's the only way.